Good kill, good kill. Hey, good kill. So if you're watching these videos and you want to get into DCS, definitely check out Apex Gaming PCs. This is where I got my laptop. I'm super happy with what I received. And keep in mind that they have the A-Firm program, which allows you to pay month to month so that it doesn't hurt your wallet too badly. Check out the links below to make your own custom PC that fits your budget. Big thank you to Apex Gaming PCs. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're here in the FW190. I've seen uh, quite a few comments over the years asking for this fight. I don't think we've ever done it before. Uh, I think actually maybe once way back in the day. So it's it's been quite a while um, since I flew the Fuckle Wolf here. Uh, but we are facing off against the P47. Uh, again, a very inexperienced in this aircraft. I'm gonna go into the vertical here because I have a decent amount of energy. Um, so I'm hoping to build some experience as we go here. Uh, this thing does quite enjoy the rudder. Going to the vertical here. Now, from my understanding, the uh, FW190 came out in 1941, I believe it was. The early variants came out. And this thing has uh, quite a... Wow, there he goes. He's got quite the energy state. Uh, it's got quite a lot of uses, or at least it did back in the day. Uh, it was used as a day fighter, a fighter bomber, ground attack aircraft. And uh, to a lesser degree, it was actually used as a night fighter, although not too much of that going on. Um, I'm a little bit struggling here for <laughs> maintain energy with that P-47. He's doing a pretty good job of uh, maintaining his energy. I'm a little slow here, so I'm going to start trying to force that one circle fight. And look at him, he's doing a great job. This is once again, this is shotgun in the P-47. And doing a great job of managing his energy. The performance between these two is... Uh, somewhat comparable like I don't think either one is tremendously better than the other although I believe the FW190's performance uh, degrades above 6,000 meters which is about 20,000 feet I believe um, so the, the more this fight goes down the more it's better for me here we go cross my nose almost almost cross my nose there engine on idle Maintaining uh, visual out of this thing can be challenging at times as well, not the best visibility. Uh, we got a BFM error, he might have lost visual there, he reversed in front of me, looks like he's looking for me. I'm gonna pull the lead here. Some rounds which he sees, he jinks. Nice jinx from shotgun here. Once again, very slippery, not slippery enough, he got hit there. Got him pretty good there. He's looking fairly damaged. Falling into the water, it looks like. Possibly a dead pilot, I don't know. But we're gonna pull up here. I'm pretty sure he's a goner. Oh, the reflections on this canopy are brutal. There it is, splash one. I'm thinking about doing a scenario uh, with the FW-190 where we're attacking like a mass of bombers. I think it might be pretty cool. Uh, let me know if that's something you want me to try. No promises on how it'll turn out, if it'll be cool or not, but um, we can definitely give it a try. I think it's got the uh, potential to be cool. Where'd he go? There he is. And we'll take him one circle. Let's see how that works out for us. Uh, 
especially at this altitude, the performance feels eerily similar between these two, although he does consistently uh, appear to be in a better energy state than me, but I think that's just pilot skill versus my non-skill. <laughs> All right, there he goes, uh, lift vector across the circle. He's back there. I see like the visibility out of this thing is kind of wild. There he is up high. They put this giant bar across the top of the canopy, which is very inconvenient for dogfighting because like that's usually where your bandit will be is behind this bar. So you gotta kind of tilt your head to one side if you're gonna fight him. Look at this, he's becoming offensive. Not good news. I'm gonna have to go for the overshoot if we can get it. Yeah, pretty dangerous. P47 is uh, 850 calibers, so you don't want to be on the business end of that thing. We've kind of neutralized this, and he's kind of out in front. Look at this. And it's a little too soon to get excited. Because he can still neutralize from here. He's definitely in a better energy state than me, I would say. But the P-47, especially if I can get him slow, that thing is a fat pig. But I kind of feel like a fat pig too if I get slow, so... It's kind of a two-way street. Oh, no way. Oh, oh, nice! Oh my god, how did he do that? <laughs> you can never ride off shotgun. Luckily, I'm still okay, and he's gonna cross my nose here. Oh, almost. He climbs over it. <laughs> he saw it coming. I'm still offensive here. We can still make this happen. Cross my nose, cross my nose. Oh, yes. Oh. <laughs> he absolutely got shredded there. 20 millimeter cannons. And look at this. We're in this one circle fight. And oh, <laughs> he nicked me there. He nicked me. Very bad. Oh, he's right there. No, no, oh, oh no. <laughs> okay, we gotta get out. This might be a little low to bail out at this altitude. I love fights like that where it's super even and he hits you and you hit him and then it's like a slow fight and then somebody just shreds the other guy. It's so much fun. Uh, here we go. We are descending here because he's doing the same thing. A uh, little machine gun check from him for his 50 cals it looked like. Uh, didn't look like he was shooting at me so I'm just going to call that a gun check. He was just making sure that uh, his guns were working. I'm going into the vertical here. And we're going to convert. Remember, you're always starting off with uh, kinetic energy, and then you're going to climb, convert that kinetic energy into gravitational potential as you uh, get slower as you climb, right? You're exchanging that energy. And then uh, on the way down, you're exchanging the gravitational potential for kinetic, and you're kind of always doing this little balance exchange in your mind uh, to try to, I guess, have more energy than the other guy. And maintaining visual in this kind of fight can be challenging too because the distances tend to be pretty high as you can see. He's way out there. 
Um, and the reflections in the canopy of this thing seem a little excessive to me. I don't know, you guys tell me in the comment section. Uh, they kind of feel like they need to be toned down just a little bit. Like, it's glass at the end of the day, and this thing is reflecting as if it's like plastic. It's way too reflective, in my opinion. Like, look at this. It's crazy. Here we go, we're gonna do... I'm gonna start transitioning this maybe to a one circle fight from here. If I can. And look at this. I think we're offensive here. Here we go. BFM error here to reverse the turn. You can only reverse if you think you're gonna... The bandit will overshoot. Couple of rounds there and that's it. Okay, we got him out in front. I'm gonna give him the business here. Yep. Oh, that had to hit him. Very nice. And... Come on, come on, come on. There he goes. Stay with him here. He's very damaged. This fight is mine to lose. And certainly shotgun can reverse the fight. Gotta be very careful with him. Being very cautious. I'm trying not to be super aggressive. Couple of rounds there, didn't hit anything. But he is in deep doo-doo here. Look at this. It's called trouble and he's in it. Look at this. Being super cautious, he's trying to be slippery. Trying not to present an easy target. Come on now. Oh my god. How is he flying that fat pig? Look at him. That he's trying to side slip. <laughs> he's trying so hard to stay alive. He's making it very difficult to line up a shot here. I'm trying to be very deliberate with the rounds. There we go. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Alright, that's it. Give him a little more here. Yeah, no, we gotta pull up, pull up, pull up. Uh, oh no. Oh, I hit the water. <laughs> Alright, whatever. There you go. That's it, guys. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.